Welcome! So, you bought the Arturia Keystep 37 and now you obviously want to use that uh, nice onboard RPEG eater and sequencer in sync with your DAW. But like me, you probably noticed that out of the box the Keystep 37 does not sync very well with your DAW. Now the principle to set up the Keystep 37 is basically the same in any DAW, but in this video I'll show you how to do this setup with FL Studio, Logic and Bitwig Studio. Now if you want me to show this setup with another DAW, just let me know in the comments. Right, I'm Matthias and let's take the tour! Ok, so after unboxing the Keystep 37, you should look at the back side here, where you can set uh, the clock sync of the Keystep 37. And by default it's set to uh, internal sync, which means that uh, it will run by its own clock. And now we need to set this to sync to USB instead. So you have to set the dip switches like so. Now the Keystep 37 is ready to sync to our door via the USB. The second step is to connect the USB cable to the Keystep 37 and to your computer and power on the device. Now fire up FL Studio and go to Options and MIDI Settings. You can also press F10 to open this menu. And if uh, everything is connected correctly here, you should see the output device Arturia Keystep 37 and the input device. First let's activate the Keystep 37 as an input device. So press the enable here and the controller type should be the generic controller. You don't need to set a specific port here. And we also need to activate the send master sync because uh, we want to send the clock from the door into the Keystep 37. And also remember to set the synchronization type to MIDI clock. I think by default it's set to MTC24 FPS, so set this to MIDI clock. Secondly, we also need to make sure that uh, the Keystep 37 is uh, sending the MIDI data on the correct uh, MIDI channel. So to do that you hold shift and press the first key on the keyboard here, which will make sure that uh, the keyboard's MIDI channel will be transmitting on channel 1. Because uh, FL Studio is responding to MIDI channel 1 by default on the mod wheel and all the knobs and controllers. So to make the Keystep 37 work with all your plugins and stuff inside uh, FL Studio, it's important that uh, the device uh, transmits on channel 1. Now let's set the Keystep 37 to uh, the arpeggiator mode here and uh, drag this to 8 notes. And hold down a few keys here. And uh, as you can hear, if we're not uh, pressing play here, we're not sending any clock to uh, the Arturia Keystep 37. But as soon as I press uh, the spacebar here to play the project, it will start to send the clock and we will have arpeggiation happening. So let's uh, hold down a few keys and press space. So now we have that arpeggiator working, so let's see how the sequencer works. Let's uh, set it to sequencer mode and press record and record a few notes. And press stop to deactivate the recording and now as soon as we hit the key here and have the sequencer running it will send the clock and we will get that sequence playing. So now you can record all these nice uh, arpeggiations and sequences directly into the FL Studio sequencer. Now set the division to 16th notes and uh, make sure we have one of these uh, keys pressed before we start the sequencer so that uh, the sequence will know that it will start on, on the D in this case. And press play and the sequencer will record all the MIDI data sent from the key step into the sequencer. Thank you. 
Now we can see all that MIDI data being recorded into the sequencer. Now, after you've recorded your sequences and arpeggiations, it's a good practice to turn off the sync in the MIDI menu here, because you don't want the DAW to send the clock to the key step, because uh, it will start to, uh, to play back all those sequences that you have on, on the key step as soon as you hit play. And it can also be a good practice to have this empty MIDI out channel, just create this MIDI out track which will be used as your temporary track when you don't want to, the key step to send MIDI data into these other tracks while you just play back the track. Because uh, if you have uh, the master sync activated in the MIDI menu here and you select say a MIDI channel here, let's hear what happens if we press play. Yeah, so you can hear that the key step 37 is uh, sending all this MIDI data since it's synced to the door here. So it's sending all this MIDI data into these other channels. That's why we have these like mute MIDI out channels, so we can select these when we press play. Okay, so that's basically how to set up the Keystep 37 with uh, FL Studio. Now let's look at how we set this up in Logic. Okay, so by default uh, Logic should uh, receive the MIDI data from the Keystep 37. But we still need to set up the synchronization to get the clock from uh, the computer to uh, the Keystep 37. So to do that we go up to File, Product Settings and uh, Synchronization and go to the MIDI tab here and activate the destination Arturia Keystep 37 and make sure to activate the clock here so it's going to send the clock to the Keystep 37 so now it should play the same sequence here when we press play Now it's important to also have an empty MIDI track which you can select if you want to play back your track. Or uh, turn off the synchronization or you will have this doubling happening since uh, the key step 37 will receive a clock and start to play that sequence and send that back to the sequencer. And it will sound very bad like this. So make sure to either have this uh, empty MIDI track created, new external MIDI track, or go into synchronization settings and just uh, turn off the MIDI clock here. So now we can actually select this track and, and play back. Okay, so that's basically how to set up Logic to send the MIDI clock to the Arturia Keystep 37. Now let's look at how this works in Bitwig Studio. Right, so Bitwig by default does not add Arturia Keystep 37 as a MIDI controller, so we need to go into the dashboard and settings and controllers. And we need to add a new controller. Select the generic and the keyboard plus 8 device knobs and add and select the Arturia Keystep 37 as uh, the MIDI port. And now we should uh, get some MIDI data from the Arturia. And now let's set up the sync. So go to the dashboard again and the synchronization tab. And here we can see the MIDI sync output and Activate the Arturia Keystep 37 MIDI output, the sync output here. The sequencer should send the MIDI clock to the Arturia Keystep 37. And for the sound here, I'm using the latest uh, Faceplant uh, version 2.0 with the analog juice preset. So let's uh, record a little arpeggiation here.
Okay, so that's basically how you set up the Arturia Key Step 37 with FL Studio, Logic and Bitbig Studio. If you have further questions, uh, let me know in the comment section to this video. Now you can continue and watch my next video. My name is Matthias and see you in the next one. Bye.